Hello everyone, my name is Jack. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a very stressful quarter, but I was able to build the uh, autonomous drone, palm-sized autonomous drone. You know, in most of the country, the unrestricted drone is 250 grams. But I want to go even further. How about a 125 gram autonomous drone? But um, for the weight, I'm not able to successfully shrink the drone into under 125, but I'm very close. So the capability of a drone, it has a GPS, compass, so it can fly waypoints, no additional sensors. But what it has, it has a drone bridge, which can communicate to the ground station via a Wi-Fi. Take a closer look at the drone. This drone, it uses a all-in-one board. It has a full functionality of the Express IRS receiver. And it also has a ESC integrated. So the motor can directly connect to this board. So the motor is just plug and play. This board has a F405 MCU. It has a plenty of UARDs. This one is used to connect to the DJI 04 unit. I converted it to connect to the drone bridge, which is a ESP32S3 development board. Um, one tricky thing is that this board do not break out the I2C, which are normally used to connect to the compass. The good thing is there is a special release of the Arduino Pilot firmware, which can use one of UART's as a I2C connector. But there's one drawback. The drawback is that that GPIO was originally used to connect the onboard Express RS receiver to the MCU. So by doing that, we need to desoldering the receiver to the bot and the resoldering the Express RS to another free UART. So you can see here, I reconnected the Express RS receiver to this additional UART and I can connect the original UART's remapped as the I2C to this wire, which is connect to the GPS and the compass. So we use the one, two, three, four UARs. One's the receiver, one I2C, one GPS, and one drone bridge. Actually, I want to add a Raspberry Pi flight computer to the flight controller, but unfortunately we don't have a spare UR, so I need to replace one of the URs with this uh, with this Raspberry Pi. I have been successfully running a neural network on that. So I'm testing that connect to another flight controller. For the drone at this size, I'm very satisfied with all the configurations. I will only use my computer to, to control this drone instead of the transmitter. Power up. You see it's now connected to the ground station via the drone bridge, the Wi-Fi. Mode change to acro. Heading now, to waypoint home. It has been connected to the ground station. Mode change to loiter. Mode change to acro. Armed. Okay. Now it's in loiter mode. You see? The drone is flying there. I'm going to trigger the the mission. Okay, set mode. Mode change to auto. Heading to waypoint two. You see, it's flying. Heading 
to waypoint 3. Heading to waypoint 5. Heading to waypoint 6. Hopefully it were not complete with the this path. Oh, it's very close. It's very close. Okay. 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 Land. Steady. Steady. Disarmed. My palm size of the drone has oh. Just disconnected it. My palm sized drone has finished its mission, which is flying around the flying field. Yay! By utilizing this um, autonomous platform, I'm going to add some new features to this drone. So keep tuned. I'll see you next time. Bye.